It's the 1st of November, ladies and gentlemen. It is, of course, Sombra Day, or at least that's what I'm calling today. Because this is the day that we got official, and I mean official, sort of verification that the earlier leak of Sombra, you remember a while ago with the standing with the SMG, which was leaked from apparently internal Blizzard sources, this that's been confirmed because this image you're seeing of Sombra right now was taken from the Blizzard website. Apparently it was unfortunately put out there before it should have been and they quickly brought it down. But of course, the internet being the internet, it remembers absolutely everything. So people pulled the image down and what we've got is a piece of artwork of Sombra standing on top of one of the Volskaya robots. And I'll put the name of these things across the screen because I cannot pronounce it. I think it is Russian for like Holy Mountain or something like that. Holy Mountain? Glorious Mountain? I don't know. Any Russians out there watching this or anybody who can speak Russian, then by all means translate that for me. But yeah, what we've got is this image which does show us that Sombra is is this, right? It's Sombra. But this gives us a couple of other bits of information. It shows how her gauntlets appear to be sort of her method of hacking. And I sort of alluded to this in the past because when, you looked at, when we looked at the um, Sombra image with the SMG, it was quite clear that a gauntlet has something to do with it because there was such a major focus of that image and this has just literally been confirmed. So why the hell is she in Volskaya Industries? Why is she standing on top of one of these massive Russian killer robots? Now these things are not Omnics. I've seen a lot of people saying, oh look, Sombra's standing on top of a big Omnic. No it isn't. This is a big robot. Think Pacific Rim. This is what this thing is. It's what the Russians used to defeat the Omnics during the Omnic crisis. Now why the hell would Sombra be standing on top of one of these? This must be one of her abilities, right? What, you just wouldn't have her standing here, presumably using her... Uh, her gauntlets to hack? Like, she's got these tendrils coming out of her gauntlets, like these data streams, which are hooking into the robot's hand, and it's sort of glowing. Does that mean that she's taking control of the, of the robot? That would fit Sombra, right? Everything that we've seen so far, especially with the stuff with taking control of um, Bastion and activating other Omnics and stuff like that, we know she can take control of computer-based systems. So, it, what is this? Could this be an ultimate? Like, how the hell would this be in the game? Like, uh, surely she cannot call down one of these robots. It would not fit into the map. Like, wild theories are maybe a part of the robot appears on the map. Uh, I don't know. Maybe she can call in some sort of artillery strike from one of these robots. It, it's a bit weird. Or maybe, 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 Sombra is actually a type of, I don't know, like a type of, almost like a hunter from World of Warcraft. Like, she's got pets. Um, or maybe if anybody's out there played older games like uh, EverQuest and whatnot, maybe like a Conjurer or a Summoner of some description, maybe like a Necromancer from Diablo, um, soon to be Diablo 4 apparently I've been told. Um, maybe something like that though, where she can summon minions and the minions do things by her command and maybe her ultimate like augments the minions in some way like maybe they just suddenly detonate but how the hell could she control a minion around the map? Maybe it's like, I don't know, swarms of drones or something that she controls and she sends them off to attack people um, but they can in turn be killed or maybe she can use them to protect people or maybe that would be too similar to the way Zarya's bubbles work I don't know but this image is really really fancy also she seems to have an IDE cable around her neck <laughs> like a, a, basically an old hard drive uh, cable that you plug into the hard drive into the motherboard and like she's got one on her shoulder as well and then she's got these fancy leggings which seem to have the matrix scrolling up them which look absolutely amazing, I've got to say. Um, and also she's got those clips on her head, which we still don't know what they're for. But I don't think they're... I think they're just like hair clips, to be honest. Especially based off this image, because it's showing that her primary method of interaction with computer systems is through her gauntlets. Which is, honestly, uh, going to be very interesting. Because I speculated a while back on the abilities that Sombra would have. Um, and I was like, maybe she has some sort of like taser chain lightning attack. Maybe that's what this is. Like, maybe this isn't hacking into that robot. It, it's just sort of damage which is flying out of it. Although, if you do look down at the image, it, you know, it is inside the robot and it seems to be like infiltrating um, its hand, which I don't know would indicate it's more of like a it's taking control. Maybe she's a melee character now. This should this, this could be crazy. Maybe these like light beams are like actual hard light things like what Symmetra has and it's like a whip and she can whip people <laughs> that would be like yeah I don't know where I'm going with this but you know that could be something ridiculous also her shoes look really funky they, they almost look like um, skeleton feet like they've got individual toe sort of uh, slots on them which is like which is mental but this is such an awesome image and the thing is we're going to get more information today when the ARG moves forward but one thing I've got to say guys is don't get your hopes up for Sombra being released today 
uh, especially on the PTR, because BlizzCon is right around the corner. Sombra is like the most hyped thing that ever has been. So why would they just release her a few days before BlizzCon? I highly doubt that. If they do do that, I will eat my hat. And my way of getting out of that is I don't actually have a hat. So even if I lose, I can't eat my hat, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but yeah, I can't see them releasing it today. It's going to be odds on. They're going to release her at BlizzCon. And then we're going to get to see her probably on the PTR after BlizzCon. Very similar with what happened with Gamescom with Icon Vault, where that wasn't available during Gamescom. But it was after it immediately went on the PTR, I think, the day Gamescom ended. Um, so yeah. That's probably what we're going to see. Guys, go crazy in the comments below. This is the most concrete evidence we've had so far of the appearance of Sombra. Sombra's abilities. What the hell she's possibly going to do. And could her ultimate be calling down a giant robot which destroys the map? I hope it is, but that would be absolutely... Well, it would just break the game. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Stylosa, and this is my last video before I head out to BlizzCon. If any of you guys are at BlizzCon, do come over and say hello. Most likely, I'll be around the Overwatch area. Although, I do like other Blizzard games, um, so you might see me in other areas and stuff. But, uh, yeah. Oh, my God. I cannot wait. It's going to be beautiful. You can follow me on Twitter, guys, which is at Unit Lost Gaming. Do do that as well, because uh, I will put updates up from my little BlizzCon trip. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Toodaloo.